It's the smell of cowardice. It's the smell of betrayal. I'm Robin Horsfall. I'm a former SAS soldier. I did five tours in Northern Ireland with the Parachute Regiment and the SAS, and I'm one of the spokesmen for the Campaign for Northern Ireland Veterans. This campaign is important because soldiers who served during those early years are being prosecuted and persecuted without any new or credible evidence coming to light. Our purpose is to stop the unfair prosecutions or vexatious prosecutions of soldiers who were previously investigated for actions that they took over 40 years ago. They were investigated at the time by the legal authorities. They didn't start now, they, they started um, some years ago and they're an ongoing process uh, that the Republican movement in Northern Ireland is behind. The reason that they're continuing this campaign is it's part of the Republican movement's desire for a united Ireland. They want a British soldier to be convicted so that they can convince the rest of the world with their propaganda. They want a British soldier convicted of something that happened 40 to 50 years ago so that they can say British soldiers committed atrocities. And that's not the case at all. The atrocities in Northern Ireland were committed by terrorists and soldiers were there to stop that happening. For many, many reasons, it's an injustice. The Good Friday Agreement released convicted criminals from all terrorist groups in order to obtain peace in Northern Ireland and put an end to Operation Banner, which was the military operation there. The soldiers were excluded from this particular piece of negotiation. This has left them open to further investigations to further prosecutions. They're based on 40-year-old memory evidence that is really very biased because it comes from people who are prompted by the Republican movement. It's uh, spurious. It's not going to make any difference, but it's part of a propaganda campaign. It makes me angry because I know that this is a political process. It's unfair and it's unjust. It has nothing to do with justice. It is dragging guys that did a very, very good job under very difficult circumstances, dragging them back repeatedly through the courts. If they don't win, they change the charges. If they don't win again, they come back under different circumstances. So it's, it's, these prosecutions are vexatious and malicious. Our soldiers fought for you. Our soldiers died for you. Now it's your chance to fight for them.